going to be Little Round Top Part 23 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And we are here looking at the monument to Captain F.C. Gibbs Battery, uh, 1st Ohio Light Artillery, um, their monument, uh, which sits here on Gibbs Ledge, which is there by us on the camera. And this particular artillery uh, battery on July 2nd was over on Wolf's Hills and briefly skirmished with the enemy uh, before being uh, moved over here to this position where the monument sits today uh, and re helped to repulse Longstreet's attack here on the right side or the northern side of Little Round Top on July 2nd, 1863. Um, the first Ohio Light uh, battery had two 12-pound Napoleon cannons. Um, they had to unhitch their horses and bring up the guns onto the hill by hand. Uh, they gained the position right here where the monument sits just in time to cover the retreat of the United States regular brigades of Colonel Hannibal Day and Sidney Burbank. Uh, the regulars had suffered heavily during the assault uh, in the wheat field and Gibbs fire directed over their heads where it was a welcome sight to both Hannibal Day and Sidney Burbank's troops. Um, after uh, Day and Burbank's regulars retired, Little Round Top was in danger once again. Um, three southern brigades were in position over here in the distance to ascend this hill um, right around dusk when five regiments of Pennsylvania Reserves charged down the slope into the disorganized rebel army. Um, this last charge here on Little Round Top secured the, uh, the hill for the federal troops, and the hill was never assaulted again after dusk on July 2nd of 1863. Um, when you come out here, if you do, it's uh, a very rocky ground, and you can see the remnants of some of the old artillery pieces as well as the uh, t stacked ammunition plates that used to sit here, uh, which you don't see here on the Gettysburg National Military Park anymore. And also, uh, the monument here uh, that was dedicated, um, originally when they were chiseling away at the boulder to place this monument, if you look around the base of the boulder, you can actually see some of the original chiseling marks. So this is a quite interesting spot to go. Um, and of course, this again has been part 23 on our Little Round Top series here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Little Round Top, um, and we're leaving the uh, Gibbs Ohio Light Artillery. I also want to mention our series of uh, videos did the, that we did called the Gettysburg Electric Trolley, uh, part 18 and 18A, also were filmed right over here in what we call the Un the the rail the unknown railroad cut which went right by in front of this Gibbs monument into the woods over there uh, but let's make our way over and talk about these two last regiments here uh, the 121st New York uh, were a part of the sixth corps and they marched 38 miles from Manchester Maryland to reach the battlefield uh, therefore most of these six corps soldiers uh, arrived too late to participate in the fighting on July 2nd. Now the 121st New York was one of those units. They were positioned here after the heavy fighting was over in the sector, sector rather, but they did uh, provide um, some much needed reinforcement strength um, you know after the fighting the heavy fighting was over. Uh, the monument itself was dedicated uh, on October the 10th, 1889. Uh, they were under the command of Colonel M. Roy Upton. They were the 2nd Brigade, 1st Division of the 6th Corps. And of course, they held the position from the evening of July 2nd until the close of battle on July 3rd. Um, the other regiment was the 98th Pennsylvania. Uh, and they were one of the few 6th Corps regiments to have been here for the battle on July 2nd. Um, they became detached from Nevin's brigade on the way to Little Round Top. Um, and from this position where their monument sits today, just behind the Pennsylvania Reserves, they charged into the Valley of Death, harassed by enemy snipers 
on Hawks Ridge here in the distance. Um, and this is their monument here, which is uh, one of just a few monuments on the Gettysburg Battlefield that actually have color in it. Uh, much like the 93rd Pennsylvania and the 23rd Pennsylvania also, uh, they have these, these blue 6 core 3rd Division uh, blue tiles. Um, and this monument's very similar to the 23rd Pennsylvania's out on Culp's Hill uh, with the base and the and the, the tiling, except the 23rd Pennsylvania, of course, has a Zouave statue at the top. Uh, this has been Little Round Top, Part 24, on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Five, the final part here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook, and also Secrets of the Battlefield. And I'm standing here, we just took our last video at the 121st and the 98th Monument, which was Part 24. This is the road that leads from Little Round Top, Sykes Avenue, and it leads right out here where it meets with the Wheatfield Road and Sedgwick Avenue, which is over here. Um, if you look at the Sykes Avenue sign here, um, and you turn just a little bit to the left, you'll see these two National Park Service signs that say that this it's closed for horse use, but foot traffic only. So with that in mind, we're going to take a look and you're going to see a path and this is actually a partially paved path a secret path that leads back here and what this is uh, at one time in 1884 the Gettysburg and Harrisburg Railroad completed a, a line called the Round Top Spur and you can go back and watch our videos on the Round Top Spur of the Gettysburg Harrisburg Railroad um, and 13 acres of land were purchased for a park called Round Top Park. Now the park itself boasted two wells, pumps, a pavilion, a kitchen, a tin type studio, and other buildings. And also it was a very beautiful setting of wildflowers. And I can think offhand of a place in Delaware that I know called Longwood Gardens. And if anybody's ever been to Longwood Gardens, this place was very similar to that. It was a lot of flowers and wildflowers that sat back in here. Now, Round Top Park quickly became a popular attraction with services from the Round Top Spur that led to it. However, um, it became so well attended that problems developed almost immediately within weeks of its opening. Um, damage, vandalism uh, to, the, to the Gettysburg Park begin to happen because of all the tourism coming here to this amusement park. Um, this recreation of park was such proximity to the hollow ground that after not too long alcohol abuse, prostitution and gambling were amongst many of the activities that were being performed here in this park. And here, right here on the spur of Little Round Top. Um, this par par park did flourish for a few decades, but eventually the park was closed and the National Park Service took the ground and it went back to the peaceful land that remains here today. Uh, not much is left of the park, just a little bit of a, a, a pathway and a road, but this at one time was a hustling, bustling uh, park for partying and ox roasting and drinking and gambling and prostitution and and all different types of activities. Um, and at one time, steam locomotives made their way right into these grounds here, as we talked about uh, on the videos of the Gettysburg uh, and Harrisburg Railroad Round Top Spur. This has been Little Round Top Part 25, the end, here, and Secrets of the Battlefield, Round Top Park, on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook.